Hello, everybody. All right. Okay, let's try this again. All right. So, uh, you know, getting a model is kind of expensive nowadays. So, uh, you know me, I go kind of cheap. So, uh, what you saw on the product review table was I, I, I've been watching this guy. Uh, he does... Uh, different camera systems, but mainly he's with Leica. So, uh, his name is a methog methographer, something like that. Uh, very knowledgeable guy. He has the Nikon, you know, the Z9, Z50, Z6, whatever. But, uh, anyway, he has this model. He has actual real models, like Wanda right here. Uh, but uh, when he's not hiring a new model, he has a, a stand-up. And uh, I says, well, you know what? That's the cheapest route. I think I'll, I'll do the same thing also. So uh, I think that's what I'm going to do is do the same thing he does. In fact, I like his model so much. I paid like uh, almost 50 bucks, you know, with tax and everything. Got it through Amazon. Got it in one day. So uh, let me show you what it is. I'm trying to mic myself good on all these slideshows and stuff. So um, that's the ZF. Okay. And I got the uh, uh, Q3 in the line too. But we're going to talk about this model. So I got a quite a few unboxings, but uh, if you know the Witcher series, okay, they have these statuettes and stuff like that. Uh, I got a one that I kind of like. It's from the Wild Hunt, but it's called Yennefer. I thought her name was Jennifer, but it's actually Yennefer of Enberg. And uh, we're going to open it up. I'm very bad at unboxings, so I think I have to do it like this. Okay. Nice, uh, I guess it's okay packaging. Not felt. But I, I like the red. Okay. Kind of like medieval. So she comes in this uh, plastic case. So uh, the ties. Here, I think. And I don't know if they're ties or they're rubber bands. I think. Let me pull them out. Well, I could be wrong. Let's just cut it out. Jennifer, you're going to be free shortly, as long as I don't cut myself. Mm. Always make it difficult. Here, I'll just get some scissors. You're free, you're free. All right. And there she is. Get rid of that piece. So now I have a model. You know, my favorite is uh, Laura Croft. You know, they're, they're painting the statuettes now, but you know what? I just like her in silver instead. Anyway, Tomb Raider. But this is Yennefer. So she's going to be my model from now on. So the biggest problem I've been having. The
This is a great camera, SL2S, Leica. I got it on the ZDO tripod with the uh, ProMaster uh, ball head, quarter inch, okay? Excellent camera. Batteries fully charged. See, I can focus and stuff. Fully charged. Great camera, okay? But, I want to use this dummy battery in the car, and it wasn't working. So, if I put the dummy battery in, just use an Apple 30-watt uh, charger with the cable, it comes on. But when I plug it into my 110 unit in the car, it doesn't work. Okay? So, just to show you, I'm going to plug this in. And I am going to put it in the USB-C port just to show you that it's working. See the green light? So it's charging the battery. Okay. So, if I take it out, just push in on it, the battery comes out. Okay. Now I've got the dummy battery. And... I put in the USB-C port right here. So now I can put in the dummy battery. What I like about it is it doesn't have a door. Just put it in. Now, you should see some lights come on. Should. All right. Could it be the cable? Maybe it's the charger. Maybe 30 watt is not what you need. Okay. Yeah. Nope. So, <coughs> it worked. In another place, out in the garage, here it's not working. So let me plug it somewhere else where I got another power out. Okay. So I plugged it in another outlet. Let's see if it's real touchy. I don't see anything going on, so it's not working, okay? So, I don't know if it's a 30-watt adapter. It worked in the garage, but now it's not working. So, it could be the dummy battery, all right? Um, here's a USB 3. So, I can get a cable right here. So, I got a USB 3 to USB 3, but I think this might be a USB 2. So, this is a converter from USB 3 to USB C. Let's see if this works. Let me. Yeah, okay, it's off. So this isn't working either. So how do I solve this? So it worked in one place, didn't work in another. So I bought these. These are supposed to be five gigabytes. So let's see what happens here, okay? So I plug this in, nothing happened through here with the power plug. So what I bought me was an anchor number one. This is a 30 watt USB C. So maybe Apple isn't up to snuff. So I'm going to use this anchor one and see if it works. So I'll plug it in. Now I just need a USB 3. Or I should say USB 
C, and we're going to use the Apple cable again. So I'm going to plug it in, put in the USB C. Now I see a light, and now it's on. Okay? So, what does that tell me? This Apple one, which is a 30 watt, it's not working. So let's see what happens if I do plug it in. So we know it's not the cable. I'm going to turn it on. And it's now coming on. So it, it's real touchy. Okay. I didn't turn it off. Turn it on. Now it's working. So I don't know if the uh, dummy battery, because when I had it to my uh, power bank, uh, which I've used for other um, cameras, works fine. It would not work on this. So I think the dummy battery, uh, there's something wrong with it. Okay. So let's go a little bit further on the test. We now know that there's nothing wrong with the cable. So I'm going to try another cable. And I'm going to try with the anchor that worked before. And I'm, I'm using this one. 480 megabytes per second. Might be megabits per second. Okay, 241. Top of the line USB-C. So it has to be USB-C to USB-C at least. Okay. So we know this one works, and now the Apple is working. But now, let's just try a different cable, see what happens. So I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to plug it in with an anchor with this cable. And it's coming on. Okay. So, these two are working. Why will it not work in the car? I don't know. It works in here, works in the garage. Um, they're both 30 watt. Okay. It does run off the battery. But the thing is, if it won't run off the car, then I have to go to a power bank or use the batteries and then you have to charge them once they get depleted. So I want a continuous flow of power and then the only thing I have to worry about is the storage space on the SD card. So let's try a different experiment. I bought this, the Anchor, Power Core 3, Elite 26K, 87 watt. Okay, it's fully charged. And I don't know where it's made. <laughs> but anyway, comes in a knife sleeve. So let's try it. I'm going to first try it with uh, just the uh, Apple's USB C cable. So it has two USB 3s and two uh, USB uh, Cs. So I'm going to just plug it in one, just hook it in here. Now I'm going to turn it on. And it's coming on. So this power bank works. My other two don't. Okay. So this 87 watt is working. Now, let's change it out with uh, this cable now. So I'm going to hook this. Right here, I'll plug. And let's see if it can do two at a time. So I'll plug this, it's off. I'm gonna plug this in. And it's coming on. So I found the power bank, but I can't get the car working. So that's the only bummer that I have with this camera. But at least it solves the problem, 
I don't have to plug anything in the car. I just use the power bank. But uh, let's go one step further, okay? So we have this USB 3 adapter. Everybody says, no, you can't use USB 3 to USB-C, all right? So let, let's test it out. I'm gonna unhook both cables, okay? I'm gonna hook this in here, and I'm gonna get the USB 3 cable again. So it might be the cable, but it's USB 3 to 3, both the male ends. So I'm gonna plug it in there. I'm gonna plug this in here. And I'm gonna turn it on. So red dot form says, no, it must be USB-C to USB-C, because USB 3 or the USB-A will not work. And it might be the cable too, okay? And that might be it. But this is still a great conversion. You know, your USB 3 device to this. So that didn't work, but we know what does. So it came uh, with this small cable. So without a reach, I can just put this in and just plug it in. And it's coming on. So that's all I wanted to show you today. So this is a lot better than having five batteries in here. Uh, we know that the cables and the power works. So I can now hook up this camera to Studio 64 and add, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, a seventh camera. And what I like about the methographer is when he's showing something, the camera's like right here. So he can handle it, and the camera captures everything. So um, anyway, I'm going to unplug that. Dummy battery works. I got one for the uh, Q3 also. I'm happy. So I hope this was helpful. Um, this could work with the R5 or different cannons, um, you know, with the power delivery, but uh, they recommend an anchor. So it costs about uh, 114 bucks, um, not including tax, but uh, for 87 watt, that can also do your um, laptops. Not bad. So uh, thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe. Keep smiling until next time. I shall see you then. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day.